Welcome back, guys. Well, let me tell you what I got today. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take and make a copy of a lure. Okay? That's the title of the video. Right? How to copy a lure. How to make a mold out of it and make your own. You might say, well, well why do you want to do that? I can go to the store and I can get it, right? Yeah, sure you can. Let me show you a great example of why you would want to other than if you want to make your own custom colors. So you can see here, I've got Matrix Shad in a very awesome color, Lemonhead. Great speckled trout bait, really popular here on the coast. Uh, it's just a good lure, okay? Well, can I improve on it? Of course I can. So I paid $3.99 for this pack. And uh, I think they come, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to a pack, I think. Eight pack, all right, eight pack. So I'm gonna make a three cavity mold. All right, I got my three out here. But before we get into the actual mold making thing, I wanna show you something, all right? There's a reason why I'm only making three. Because I bought this pack especially, specifically for this. Brand new. Look at that lure. Look at that. You see the tail? Sideways. This one's sideways facing the other way. This one's got a little curve in it. It wouldn't lay down flat for me to make a mold out of it. The tail's sideways. Tail sideways and got a curve up here on it. All right, so three of these are just totally unusable. This this lure would not would not run right. I mean, the, the tail is completely facing the wrong direction. Okay, it should be like that. Let's see if I lay it down right here. See. The tail's all wonky. Lure's not going to work right. So I paid four bucks for three lures. Did I get ripped off? Well, I think I did. Not going to knock Matrix uh, Dockside Bait. You know, I mean, they're making these things hundreds and hundreds at a time. You know, when they're hanging them up, when they're taking them out of the mold and they hang them up to dry, they're all jumbled up. You know, lure draws like that, the tail stays like that. So, it is what it is. Uh, that's a particularly bad bag I just happened to get. And, you know, there's no way to check it unless you take them each individually out. And who wants to do all that, right? So, we're going to copy these lures. And first thing you need to know, get the worm oil off of it. Okay, we don't need the worm oil. So, how do you do that? Run them through the dishwasher. Nah, you don't have to run them through the dishwasher. You just need to get some uh, dish dish soap. Dawn, palm olive, whatever, whatever you use. Something, something that, that can degrease. And just wash them in it and dry them off. Okay, that's all you need to do. Let me set these down. Now, we've already done something similar uh, in one of my previous videos where we made our lure from hand using the polymer clay and then we uh, put our two-part epoxy down and put the lure down. Okay, that's basically what we're going to do, uh, except we're not making the lure. We're just going to use their lure, all right? That's the only difference. And I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my little 6x6 six six tiles. It's going to be ruined after I do that, but they're $0.68 cents at Lowe's, guys. Very cheap, and they make a nice, easy work, nice, easy, flat, non-stick work surface okay i go ahead and just use up this tube right here and i got another one in backup just in case i need it but i don't think i will be all right go ahead and get your epoxy mixed up evenly and thoroughly with your popsicle stick here five minute epoxy so we gotta work fairly quick. But that also means we can make a mold fairly quick too, once this stuff sets up. 
you only gotta let it set up for about 30 minutes and you can go ahead and make your mold around it. All right, we'll go ahead and spread this on here. Doesn't have to be crazy thick. It is self-leveling. So. It will level itself out on here. All right. And then back once that way. Let's see what we got here. I think that's good enough. Let's get this guy out of the way. All right. Yeah. Let's take our shads. Make sure there's nothing stuck on them. Put this bad boy down. Just like so. Give it a nice little pat. Make sure it is sunk down in the epoxy. Get my needle tool here and straighten it out. Get that tail as straight as possible. And uh, as the epoxy sets, I can come in and do a little finessing with it. Right, and get these things evened out evenly spaced in here and one other thing i took my scissors and uh where the injection ports are at on it i trimmed that out flush with them because they all kind of stuck out a little bit on there get these lined up as evenly as possible and as straight as possible. And we're striving for perfection. We want the fish to see the best lure possible. And these lure, they, these, these Matrix Shad, they really got a great action on them. And they have a, a really great action. All right. And that's number three right there. Wish I could have made a four cavity, but like I said, out of eight lures, out of eight lured out of the whole pack, only three of them were good enough to actually make a mold from. All right. Yeah, I think that's about, this one's wanting to curve on me a little bit. I'm gonna have to do a little, little adjusting on it as it as the epoxy hardens up but i'll just keep an eye on it this one's good here all right so here we go this is really it so i'm gonna go ahead and let these dry like i said i'll uh i'll come back and as this stuff hardens and it gets a little more tacky uh it firms up i'll just play around with it make sure it's it's as straight as it possibly can be okay but other than that, we're done here. So I'm going to go ahead and let it set up, and then we'll be back and actually pour the silicone on it, okay? Okay, guys, it's actually been about two hours, and I've gone ahead and I've got this framed up. Uh, my sides here glued down. I got them hot glued here. And we are ready to... Mix our silicone and pour. So I'm using the Alumalite. You get it, Michaels. It's $24.99. And I get about six molds out of this. You mix it to a one-to-one a -one ratio. And it's got a six-minute work time. A 30-minute demold time. And a 24 hour cure on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up real quick 
and then we will be back to pour it. Okay, got it all mixed up. Uniform color is thoroughly mixed and it is ready to pour. So, as always, we're gonna pour in one corner and just keep it there. Let it slowly seep through the mold. That way there's no air bubbles, any pockets anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to mix up another batch. I don't think this is gonna quite be enough. It is a pretty big, pretty big mold. But that's no problem. I've done that before. And it uh, it comes out right. This may be enough. I don't know. It's going to be a close one. Yeah, it will be a close one. These tails kind of stick up a little higher than the, the rest of it. Yeah, definitely going to need some more. Okay, I'll go ahead and mix up a batch and then, well, I guess I'll go ahead and mix up a batch and the next time we'll be demolding this because you don't need to see me pour this stuff again. So let me go ahead and do that and then we can get cooking on pouring these things and see what kind of lures they make. Okay, guys, we are back and it's actually been quite a few days since I've poured this mold but we're gonna go ahead and open it up and you can see I had a little bit of leakage here I had to hit with a hot glue gun after I turned the camera off I noticed this so let's get into this Matrix Shad, guys. Here they are. You can still use these. And then here's the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim around the edges and then we'll pour them. Get us a lure made out of it. All righty. Let's get some pink and green mixed up here. pop these in the microwave for about 20 seconds and we'll pour all right we will do do pink on the bottom with a green back
and make sure we get that tail cavity filled up good. Yeah, I overdid it on the pink on that one a little bit. And I may have overdid it on the pink there too. Go ahead and let these cool off and uh, see what kind of lures we made. Pour, pour a couple more too. Oh yeah, guys, these are coming out nice. Let me tell you, they're coming out nice. Oh man, well, I say that and this one didn't get a good seal right here at the tail. So this one, that one's out. But man, look at these. Nice. Let's go ahead and pour a third set of them here and actually i don't think i did i didn't do i didn't do too bad i thought i put a little bit too much pink in there for what i wanted but actually i think that worked out just fine so we got ahead with that again here That worked out good last time. I did put a little bit less in here on this one, though. Yeah. A nice electric chicken color going on. These guys turned out really good. It really, really did. And the added bonus, since I molded, I made a copy of a lure that had a really smooth surface on it, I don't have to go back and hit these with the heat gun. So, that's one less step that we gotta do on these you can tell like okay here's the lemon head matrix shad here's the matrix shad we made i gotta trim i gotta trim that up it over poured it a little bit but yeah so there you go an identical copy of the matrix shad and i've got this lemon head color and i did put a little bit too much pink in there because you can kind of see it coming through there in the back but i don't think it's going to be too big of a deal these should come out a little bit better but uh overall i mean you can see the shell or the, the scale pattern the eyes well there's no eyes on this one but the scale pattern showed up perfectly i mean everything's identical except the color but I, i've got i can make a lemon head but why make a lemon head of these when i've already got them so man all right guys that's it that is how you copy a lure Okay, and it, it, it it's not going to work for every lure, obviously. This has a flat back, so it worked really good for an open pour uh, mold. But a Matrix Shad, these Saltwater Assassins, Bass Assassins, any of these lures with a flat back like that, you can copy these molds just like this. Make your own custom colors and, you know, no crooked tails like we had on the other ones. These are... Uh, these are perfect in every way. So I'm happy with how these came out. Hope you guys are happy with the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Learned a little bit of stuff. Um, I appreciate you watching me. Give me a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care.